That's right, I'm your host, Kurt Sandvig, and on this week's edition of the Drinking Companion episode, we're going to be talking about Living for the Dead. If you guys haven't had a chance to watch it yet, head on over to Hulu.com or even Disney Plus and check out Living for the Dead. I was lucky enough to interview the entire cast and the executive producer, so go ahead and listen to that, Paranormal Almanac, wherever you get your podcasts. But, this is the Drinking Companion show. I wanted to make a drink that just screams living for the dead. And, well, let's see if I can do that or not. To get started, you're going to need one ounce of grenadine, four ounces of pineapple juice, fresh the better, two ounces of coconut rum, but I'm going to take it up a little bit and I'm going to do a toasted coconut rum. That's right, it's called Kula. It is a toasted coconut rum. It's much better than like a Malibu rum. Trust me, if you're going to make this drink, go for the good stuff. Get the toasted coconut rum. You're also going to need one ounce of water, which is in that glass over there, and half ounce of blue curacao, which is just an orange liqueur that they dye blue. Why? I don't know. But for this drink, it's important. All right, so what you're going to do is we want to pour one ounce of grenadine, into the cup. Let me shake this up just to be on the safe side. And you might be noticing that there's no mixing cups, there's no anything else, there's just glasses. I don't even know if you can see them. There's two glasses over there. But you want to pour one ounce of grenadine. Again, get the good stuff. Don't get that bright red crap that you get like grocery stores. Get the good stuff. You want to pour that in the cup. Then, in a separate cup, you want to pour oh, come out come out there we go you want to pour your rum and your pineapple juice so it's four ounces of pineapple juice so we're going to start with that that's two there we go that's four ounces of pineapple juice oh i love pineapple juice and then two ounces of the toasted coconut rum. Right the line. And you want to mix that together. The next thing you want to do is your other cup, we're going to set that aside. With the other glass, you want to do the blue curacao in the water. Now the water is one ounce of water, it's already in the glass. I put it in there before I started, and it's a half ounce of blue curacao, which is going to be hard to see because it's dark out here this time. There we go. And mix that together. Okay, set that aside. Now, you wanna fill up your cup with ice. And again, I didn't bring out an ice scoop because I'm not a smart man, so I'll just use this. But we're gonna fill up the glass all the way to the top with ice. Again, get the pebbled crushed, the pebbled ice or the crushed ice. It makes for a better cocktail. And I mean to the top top. And it's a good thing my bar's outside because I am making a mess. All right. So, you got your grenadine. You want to pour in slowly your coconut and your pineapple juice. And if you have a highball glass, I recommend it. I couldn't find mine, so I'm just using this glass. But it's tiki glass, it's tiki bar, so I figured it works. If you pour it in slowly enough, you're gonna see the layer, which is a good thing. You're also gonna spill all over your bar, which is a bad thing. Doesn't matter. You wanna top off the ice. 
And then I'm sure you guys can guess where I'm going with this next one. Your next layer, even slower. You can use the backside of the spoon if you need to, and I'm going to. Yes. Excellent. Now, you're gonna need a garnish, so let me grab a garnish. I'll be back in just two seconds. Talk amongst yourselves. Since I have no idea what I did with my bag of garnishes from the last video, I'll open up a new bag. Maybe. Theoretically. Seriously? I swear, this bag will open. I will get a garnish. It's not really a garnish, but it makes the drink look better. You know what I'm saying. Now, since this is such a fun show with such a fun cast, I'm also gonna add just a little bit, just a splash of Demerara rum to the top of it. Oh no, my cork. There we go. Just a splash, just to get a little bit extra kick because Living for the Dead has nothing but if not extra kick. And there you have it. There is the Living for the Dead cocktail. I'm gonna put a bright light on it because I really want you to see the, the layers which are slowly melting because it's 100 degrees out. But if you do it quick enough, and it's not a million degrees out, you're going to see all three layers. Alrighty, so like I said, it's a million degrees out, so the layers are, the ice is quickly melting and the layers are quickly disappearing. But it is a nice rainbow-colored drink that I figured, if anybody would like a rainbow-colored drink, it'd be the Ghost Hunties from Living for the Dead on Hulu right now. Go and watch it. They're not paying me to say it. I just love that show. All right, I'm excited to taste this, especially since I put that Demerara rum float at the top. Ooh, that is good. You can taste the coconut, the uh, toasted coconut, and the pineapple instantly. In fact, that's been all I can taste, which is I'm fine with. Boy, that's a good drink. So there you have it. Uh, Try it out. Let me know what you guys think. See if you can get even better layers. I swear, on this side of the glass, the layers look fantastic. Here, can you see that? Can you see the layers better? No? Well, trust me. In person, the layers look great. Uh, but once again, I'm your host, Kurt Sandig. Listen to Paranormal Almanac wherever you get your podcasts. And uh, let me know down below. Oh, yeah, click like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, but let me know down below if you've had this drink or if you're going to make this drink while you're watching Living for the Dead. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.